everyone. Elon Musk is mad at me. And I just put out a statement about what happened between him, me, and the interview that he is apparently so upset about. But make no mistake about this. This is going to be my first episode of The Don Lemon Show this coming Monday, March 18th. So make sure you tune in. This does not change anything about the show except for my relationship with Elon and X. And there, there's a whole lot that went down and I'm going to tell you about it in the coming days. I know, though, that many of you were not happy that I was doing this in the first place. And you told me so. I just want you to know that I did this deal because not only do I believe in free speech, but I believed that this was the best possible chance for the work that I'm doing to reach the largest amount of people. So speaking of free speech, right, I thought the first person interview, no brainer, Elon Musk, the man who calls himself a free speech absolutist. I asked him to do it. He willingly agreed to the interview. Throughout our conversation, I kept reiterating to him that although it was tense at times, I thought it was good for people to see and hear our exchange and that they would learn from our conversation, learn more about him, learn more about me. But apparently free speech absolutism doesn't apply when it comes to questions about him from people like me. What did we talk about? Why is he so upset? Does he even have a reason to be upset? Make sure you watch it on Monday on YouTube and everywhere you listen to podcasts and you can decide for yourself. You can even watch it on X because I'm still going to post it there and I'm sure others will as well. Okay, I love it. I love lemon uncuffed. Okay, not unhinged, uncuffed here. And I don't have anything to say except 100. I agree with everything Don Lemon said there. That was the preamble to the interview, okay? Um, (laughs) We are gonna show you more because Lemon would then go on CNN, his ex-employer. See, you can be nice to your ex-employer when you walk away with $24 million. They fired him, the reporting is he got the money. So even though it looked like he was in a casual attire there, I guarantee it was designer and God bless him for it, whatever. Uh, He went on CNN to share portions of the interview he conducted with Elon. Watch this. This is a part of the conversation with Musk where you ask him about hate speech. Here it is. Hate speech on the platform is up. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform, that you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates to I don't have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that? I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Otherwise, I would not do this interview. So you don't think, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm criticized constantly. I could care less. People who could care less about criticism often don't even respond to it. People say things about me all the time, and I'm not Elon Musk. I didn't even check my checking account lately, but I assure you, it's not <laughs> it's not like his. And uh, I don't even know that they're doing it because that's how well, I'm busy. I'm playing games on my phone, I'm watching TikTok until it's banned. I'm doing a lot of things that don't have anything to do with your criticism. Elon Musk is bothered, okay? First, let's give you the company responding to the news about the cancellation of the show. X Business, here it is. X is a platform that champions free speech, and we're proud to provide an open environment for diverse voices and perspectives. My lunch is coming up again. Sorry. Don Lemon Show is welcome to publish its content on X without censorship, as we believe in providing a platform for creators to scale their work and connect with new communities. However, like any enterprise, we reserve the right to make decisions about our business partnerships. And after careful consideration, X decided not to enter into a commercial partnership with the show. What changed? Not one episode aired when you, I remember, didn't Elon tweet out when Don got fired? Come on over here. He did the same with Talker. And now what changed? Oh, you, he was kind of flush and he was very angry as they sat down. That's what changed. Okay. Musk himself would address it online. Let's put that up. What's he saying? His approach was basically just, quote, CNN, but on social media, which doesn't work, as evidenced by the fact that CNN is dying. And instead of it being the real Don Lemon, it was really just Jeff Zucker talking through Don. So lacked authenticity. All this said, Lemon Zucker are, of course, welcome to build their viewership on this platform along with everyone else. Okay, so Elon hates Jeff Zucker, also ushered out of CNN after uh, 
he did not uh, properly identify his relationship with a fellow employee, uh, subordinate, okay, storied uh, media power broker, I guess you would call him, mainstream, NBC, blah, 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 CNN, uh, until his firing. Levin would also comment on his contrasting views of free speech compared to Musk. Let's listen to what Don has to say here. What people are asking me, what I asked Elon, uh, what happened, what did I do? Yep. During the course of that interview, I never, I never raised my voice. I told him, you know, I think this is important for people to hear, especially considering how the type of discourse that we're having in the country right now. And he supposedly says this is a public square for all. Maybe we're learning that a public square should not be privately owned by someone who doesn't think that there should be any moderation on that platform. So uh, it, it was interesting because at the end, I could tell that he was upset and he was uncomfortable. It was tense. And I said, listen, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, I would go and have a beer and, and, and hash these things out. You and I do not disagree. You and I do not agree on much, yep. but I will fight for your right as to be able to say what you want to say. That's what freedom of speech means to me. And 24 hours later then. And 24 hours later, it means comes. freedom of speech does not mean, I guess, the same thing to him as it does to me. This is a refreshing, well-rested, committed, again, uncuffed Don Lemon. I, that's just my opinion. I want to comment on something he said at the beginning of that clip. He said, I um, didn't raise my voice. I get exactly what he meant. People of color, journalists of color know exactly what people of color, okay, in random conversations, okay? You better not. You better, he was almost whispering in that clip as well. Better not raise your voice because you'll be accused of being too black and too loud. It's a, often a tactic used. You're angry. So I like that Lemon understood that. Of course, he does, given his stature and length in the game, and that he, controlled his emotionality like many people do. I'll give him credit for that. He doesn't need it though. It's something we're taught at birth, particularly a black man. So I said it, okay? Uh, This wouldn't be the only bad press Musk is currently dealing with. He's also come under fire for posting this. Let's see what's going on here because this is Elon. Look at your life. Remember that show? Look at your life. This is a mini version of it, Elon Musk. It's uh, (laughs) what we're doing. Seems to be hardly any coverage of this mass shooting. The legacy media is racist against Asians and whites. So only Prince crime involving those races. Hmm. This, of course, opposed uh, two black male suspects arrested. Mass shooting at a bus stop, Philadelphia. The background on the story continues, it must report it. Shooting he referred to occurred on the afternoon of March 6th as several students waited for a public bus. WTXF reported Philadelphia police and the United States Marshal Service captured three suspects and continued to search for a fourth, according to the Philadelphia based news outlet. Each of the captured suspects, as well as the one authorities are looking for, are black males as seen in mug shots posted by WPVI. Atlanta Black Star also helping in the reporting here. Musk made the comments while reposting an ex post from a right wing gadfly who wrote, quote, the mass shooting of school students failed to generate wall to wall national media coverage. Philadelphia reporter Victoria Braun Brownworth was among those who fired back at Musk about the supposed lack of news coverage of the shooting that injured 17 boys and a teen girl. Let's see what Victoria Brownworth had to say. I'm a Philadelphia reporter who reported on this story on X in real time last Wednesday as a mass shooting. Brownworth reported, I've reported on it repeatedly as new details of the story have evolved. You seem not to know that Philadelphia is a majority black city and that this story was reported on the national news because you only watch Fox. Bravo, Ms. Brownworth, okay. When you are getting your reporting from certain places, and I I do believe that Musk um, deliberately isolates himself, but not enough that he doesn't get what he's doing. Okay, he he knows what he said is disingenuous at the very least, a lie. Let's just go with lie. He's 
trying to paint a picture and embracing white supremacy and doing what bratty billionaires do when they are consumed by money and power. That's why he bought X and ran it into the ground, Twitter, 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 because he can. He was bored. He doesn't have any real friends. Now, this is just me pontificating, but it's what I believe. And so this is what he's doing. Um, yes, I want you to uh, critique Don Lemon's um, preamble, the portion of the, the interview that was released, and the response from X and Elon Musk when it comes to free speech and the guise of it and all of that. Unpack it for us. Yeah, it, it is a guise, right? So we have to, you know, this is what happens when you try to play nice with a guy like Elon Musk. I think the mistake that most people make with Elon Musk all the time is that they treat him or think of him as if he's a normal person and he is not and he never has been. He has never lived a normal life. He's never functioned in normal or populous sections of society. Wow. He's never even like he's he's always just been extremely privileged, not just privileged, wow. but extremely privileged. He's not normal. He's not one of us. And that's fine. That's who he is. But we all need to stop expecting him to behave in a way that the rest of us would even consider to be normal. Even Don Lemon, when he was expecting Elon Musk to have something to say about the public discourse, that's a little silly because Elon Musk does not care about the public discourse because it doesn't directly affect him. He said as much. He's above the public discourse. He's above the public. And he's kind of he even exists on the outside of government, right? But for somebody who doesn't care about what people say about him, he still took the time to respond to the incident on his own social media platform. And so that's kind of like the guise of freedom of speech that we were talking about. He has freedom of speech, but he owns the platform, right? <laughs> and the thing is, he's just kind of an edge lord. He's like a Trump. He's a businessman. He only addressed it because he felt like it because he knows that it was going to get traction. It was going to get him some kind of publicity. He didn't do it because he feels like he needed to in order to avoid getting canceled or anything like that. The man has no consequences, and he acts like a man who has no consequences. Yeah, he bought Twitter from Jack Dorsey. Why are we acting like he's normal? You're Mm -hmm. so right. Why would we ask him about everyday, quote unquote, normal things? He's going to go back to a tiny house because he chose to I don't know, do a little camping experiment, not because he has to live in a small amount of square footage. He can afford gas, but he decided, you know what, I want to buy this electric car company. He is incredibly privileged, exceptionally privileged, as you said. What do you make of lemons? And it it was an excuse, an explanation, if you will, for why he, he understood, I think, the assignment in what you revealed and explained about Elon not being normal, and he's a billionaire, okay, and he got money from his parents. But Lemon said, I did this because I need my own new platform, my own thing to really get some energy here and some eyeballs. So yeah, even though you guys warned me, I'm gonna go for this big attention getting fish. Yeah, you kind of have to feel for Don Lemon here. Uh, You know, he was very famous, like very publicly fired from CNN. And that was a big deal because of the circumstances, because of all the conjecture that came out surrounding him being fired because of, you know, his relationship with Chris Cuomo and a lot of other things. But he's kind of like a legacy mainstream media guy, right? He's been working at CNN for I don't even know how long. And now he's kind of been thrust into this new media landscape and trying to navigate that. And he's doing the things that he knows how to do, which is conducting a CNN-esque interview, but putting it on like Twitter or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, But he's also trying to play that game that, you know, maybe the younger people are a little bit better at than he might be, right? So he's still trying to do the social media thing. And unfortunately, like we run into that here at TYT even, you know, there is a balance that you have to strike between, you know, getting the hits and getting the likes and getting the clicks because that is how you grow the platform while at the same time trying to, you know, create something of substance, something of value to people, to your audience without just being all about the clickbait. Yeah. It is very tricky. And that's, I guess that's what he's trying to do. Yeah. He's going to come up to speed, uh, get after it. And we'll see what happens next. He's obviously formed an alliance with his friend and former boss, Jeff 
Zucker. Uh, you're right. He was fired for some uh, mysterious reasons because he really was the same guy all the way through his tenure at CNN. I think they said he didn't get along with the girl, the woman who was uh, shifted to primetime, uh, who still did not get any ratings, but whatever. It's a crowded field. 